Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of long division. This is standard 4.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got some baseball cards, exactly 1,150. They're going to be sorted into five bags, and each bag holds five baseball cards. So they don't necessarily say, but when we've got each bag that holds the same number, we've got equal groups. And so anytime we see equal groups, that gives us a heads up that we're going to be probably using multiplication or division. So we need to know how many bags for all the baseball cards. Well, how would we represent that with a strip diagram? Well, we know our total. They gave that to us. That's 1,150. We don't know how many bags there are. That's what we're looking for. We do know that they can be put into bags of five. So what we could do to represent that with a strip diagram is we do that five, and then we just put a little arrow over here, meaning how many fives are there in 1,150? So we can skip count by fives. That would take a long time, but it would get us there. So five, how many groups of five are we going to take to get up to 1,150? I would rather use an inverse operation, 1,150. Let's divide that by five. That's going to be a little bit easier. So we are going to use some division here. Let's label our parts. So we've got our dividend. That's the big number that we use to start things off. That's the total. Now we've got our divisor. That's the smaller number that we divide into our dividend. Then our answer is going to be a quotient. We always have a special name for the answer to each of our operations. Addition is sum. Subtraction is difference. Multiplication is product and division is quotient. So let's use this form for our long division. And just notice real quick, first off, I'm not going to bring the comma over. I don't want to mistake it for a 1. But notice my dividend, 1,150, goes on the inside. My divisor, 5, goes on the outside. So it kind of flips when you go from this, state, this form over to this form over here. Now, how do we do it? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? That's the little phrase I always say to myself to remember the five steps for long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, check. This is one that we sometimes miss, and then bring down. So what we do with divide is we start with our divisor. And we look at first that first digit. Can 5 go into 1 without going over? No, it cannot. So we extend it to the first two digits. Can 5 go into 11 without going over? Yes. So how many times can 5 go into 11 without going over? And it's going to go two times. So we're just going to leave that 50 off. We're going to pretend that 50 doesn't exist. It's just 5 into 11. And this is where we obviously have to know our multiplication facts, or else this will take forever. So we divided 5 goes into 11 twice without going over. Because when we multiply, we know that 5 times 2 is going to be 10. So we put that right underneath it. We're ignoring the 50. Next, we're going to subtract 11 minus 10. It's 1. Now, here's the check. This difference has to be smaller than our divisor. So 1 has to be smaller than 5. It is. If it is equal to 5 or greater than 5, that we didn't divide enough, we have to go back and change our number up there in the quotient bar. So now we bring down, but here's the tricky part. We've got two numbers there. We're going to bring down just one number. Just bring down that 5. Leave that 0. We start all over again. 5 goes into 15 three times without going over. 3 times 15. 3 times 5 is that 15. We're going to subtract. There's nothing left. Check. 0 is definitely smaller. So now we bring down that 0. And even though there's nothing there, we're going to have to do that whole thing again in order to get the correct answer. 5 goes into 0. 0 times. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 minus 0 is still 0. 0 is smaller than 5. We're good. Nothing to bring down. My answer is B, 230.